Hey, what's up guys? What's going on? Welcome back to Kitchen Tonic. Welcome back to Vidmas. Welcome, welcome to another tasty and delicious recipe. So, if you didn't know what Vidmas is, it's normally called Vlogmas, where YouTubers vlog every day up until Christmas, but I'm not a vlogger. So in that case, I'll be making a, a brand new recipe or a brand new Christmas food idea up until Christmas. So this is day two of Vidmas. In other words, December 2nd, right? Yes. So to begin here today, we're going to be making some lovely, delicious sorrel drink, guys. And to start, we're going to start with the ingredients here. I have some ginger this is half a tablespoon of ginger i'm going to be using the juice of an entire lemon for this recipe here over here i have one and a half cups of sorrel guys now if you don't know what sorrel is it's basically the leaf or the flower from the hibiscus plant and here i have the dried version if you can get your hands on the fresh sorrel then kudos to you over here, I have one cinnamon stick, as well as five cloves that we're gonna be using as well, and one cup of brown sugar. And this is basically most of the recipe we're gonna be using here today, with the exception of five cups of water that I already have on my stove that's preparing to boil. So without further delay, we're gonna jump right over to the stove, and we're basically just gonna add all our ingredients here to the pot. And it's a very quick, not too time consuming recipe so be sure to try this one all right guys so here we are over at my stove and like i said this is a very quick and simple recipe idea that you should be sure to try because it's a classic so what i'm gonna do here what you're looking at is five cups of water that's on my stove here that's already hot i'm gonna go ahead and place my sorrel into my pot here and basically I'm just gonna place all my ingredients into my pot here. So this is my ginger that I'm gonna go ahead and place in here as well. Along with my cinnamon and cloves, as well as my lemon. I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze my lemon juice into this pot here as well. And finally, we're gonna place our sugar into the pot as well. And the reason we're doing this is because the sugar dissolves faster in the hot water compared to if you allow it to cool and then try to mix the sugar and everything else in. So I'm just gonna give this a nice stir here. And this is basically most of it for this recipe here today, guys. And of course, some people choose to add alcohol to this. And that's totally optional and up to you. You can add as much alcohol as you want or you can add as much sugar based on your taste and your liking. So it's totally modifiable based on your taste and your liking. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm basically gonna place my lid on this pot here and I'm gonna allow my pot here to boil for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna turn my stove off and allow the contents in the pot to seep, to sit on the stove and seep for about three to four hours so that it get that nice, strong, sorrel taste that we know and love. And with that said, I will be back with the finished products or the next steps, which is the strain my the sorrel leaves out and just enjoy your sorrel drink over ice all right guys so it's been about seven minutes since my sorrel hair has been boiling away as you can see that lovely great smell hopefully you can smell it through your screen but what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna go ahead and turn my stove off and allow my sorrel hair to seep for about three to four hours and like i said the sugar depends on your taste or your preference so if you want to add more or less sugar it's up to you so i'm just going to cover this down now 
and I'm gonna allow it to sit here and sip for about three to four hours and I'll be back. All right guys, so it's been about three hours since my sorrel here has been seeping and as you can see, I just strained it out, placed it in this mug here. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna place it in the fridge. Of course, what you can do now is to taste for sugar, make sure you have enough sugar in there to your liking, of course, and be sure to subscribe to the channel cause there's a brand new video coming tomorrow. Vidmas, day three tomorrow and I'll see you then. Thank you for watching. You want some soda? Huh? 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 You want some soda? We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas.